reality is it is the first time in the history of the world where, where virtually everybody loves one album. Everybody loves photography. There's never been a time when everybody's gone around with a notebook and pencil and, and a writing poetry or, you know, or got a flute and they're playing a flute. But now everybody has a camera. I'd never really shot a picture till I was 21 or something. I was in the army and, and, and uh, for various reasons I, I suddenly decided I wanted to be a photographer. And, and, and so I left, um, left the army, Sandhurst, I was at Sandhurst, and, and actually went to and sold shirts in Harrods in, in London. And, and I would photograph then uh, every single evening and weekends I would go out and shoot pictures and take lots of pictures. And it was, it was more or less then that I discovered this thing that I very often say about doers attract doers and talkers attract talkers. You know, I've been shooting my pictures as I do and, and, and um, Suddenly the Hungarian Revolution seemed as though that was going to happen. And for some reason it just seemed a logical thing to go and do, you, you know. So off we trotted with John, decided he was going to write about it, and, I, and we hitchhiked to Austria. And we were very lucky in Austria, we met up with people that were in, in, in some form of health aid, and, and we got uh, a lift into Budapest in, in ambulances, in, in fact, and, and um, we went to find out where the press were. And, and, and um, when I went into the hotel, the Life magazine journalists were there, and they saw a fresh face, and, and they didn't have um, a photographer, hadn't got in at that time, and, and, and so instantly they said, "Oh, who are you?" And I, you know, you say, "Freelance," you know, which means you're not working for anybody. Um, and um, they instantly said, okay, we'll, we'll work with us. So what they, little did they know that I was upstairs in my room with a book on how to use my camera because um, uh, before that I just had a, a Kodak Retina 2. So I trotted off with the American, you know, the Life magazine journalist and, and they're the, you know, as good as you get. So it was comparatively easy then you trot along behind them like a puppy dog you you know and, and every time you know they find something that's interesting you sh shoot a picture of you. it's all it, it's not really a competition but it's slightly a competition so to me i wanted to be in the magazine that cut your breath on was in i wanted to be in the magazine that McCullen was in, you know, I, that, that was for me what I wanted to do. And then later when, you know, the gallery scene became, then I wanted to be in, represented by the best gallery in the world. Uh, 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 and then ultimately, obviously, wanted to be in Magnum because that was the, undoubtedly, you know, the best documentary essayists there were and 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 it, it was it, it's just that one wanted to be in that company in that club in that family whatever it is you know because it the mere fact that they vote you in means that they think you're okay you know and that's lovely that's very reassuring and and, and uh, you know it's very daunting because you know when when you go you know that everybody there is better than you you know so but you are, you've got a foot in the door with them. And then if you take a lot of advice from them, you know, and if Bresson's looking at your contact sheets and saying something, and Elliot Irwitz looking, boy oh boy, if you listen, 
you can learn very fast. I, throughout my life, have not wanted to set things up. I just find the world so interesting that I want to try to make sense of it for me. So I, I'm, all I'm trying to do, in a way, is to capture little moments. You know, photography is... A camera can never be more than a box with a hole in the front. You know, right from the word go. So all this thing about, is it digital, is it film, is it a daguerreotype, is it an album type, is it a sinotype? It's irrelevant. The only thing to me that's relevant is that a trace goes through that lens and <coughs> hits a background. What the background is that records it, I couldn't give a damn, you, you know. I'm interested in the trace. Um, and I'm interested in trying to look at the world and 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 sort it out for myself in a way that makes a picture. I mean, it sounds terribly crass, but if somebody buys something, <laughs> obviously I, I look for it. But, uh, I mean, it, it sounds almost a cliche, but I'm much more interested in tomorrow than the past, you, you know, if somebody asks me to do an exhibition, then I start to sort out and, and do it, you know. But, um, you know, I love shooting pictures, and um, so tomorrow is much more interesting to me than yesterday. <laughs>